Hey friends, it's Ivy. Welcome back to my channel. So as I said last week, we are going to be painting a jacket today with my Posca markers. Um, if you missed my first Posca marker video, I'll leave a link in the description down below. In my first video, I had purchased a full set of Posca markers in medium tip. They're about this big and I painted this picture. In that video, I mentioned that I found the markers a little bit too thick for my liking. So this time I actually bought the fine tip as well. Um, I didn't get the full set this time. I don't know if I made the right decision yet. <laughs> Cause there were some colors that I wanted to use that were not a part of this. But today we are gonna be using this. So today we are going to be painting on a jacket and I know that I want to paint my new characters, the Peach Sisters. They look like this. The Peach Sisters were two characters I created for my Patreon series, The Fruity Friends, that were released last month. This month we have a new character, his name is Punky Pear, and I'm gonna tell you all about all these characters while we make this jacket happen. So let's jump right into it. So my plan is to paint the Peach Sisters on this pink denim jacket I got from Topshop. I'm envisioning the words Peach Sisters somewhere up here with the peaches on the bottom and the main challenge I foresee here is that the color might be difficult to work out since the peaches are pink and the jacket is also pink. So what I'm going to do is to make a draft on my iPad. To start, I found a color that I felt best matches the jacket and then I created a palette that matches the colors I'm thinking of using from my Posca markers by referencing my color chart and eyeballing it. Some of you have asked me about what kind of canvas sizes I use, but it really just depends on what the purpose of the drawing is for. For this one, I'm just selecting screen size so I can use the whole screen for my sketch since the digital drawing isn't actually serving a final purpose. Okay, now that I've got all the colors I'm thinking of using up here, I'm going to sketch out some ideas. I tried a couple different typography styles and explored with some additional decorative elements and playing around with the placements of everything. But what I was most concerned about was how everything was going to be colored. After I figured out the typography, I tried a variety of color combinations and eventually decided to go with pink and white for the text and red for the Peach Sisters. I then printed out my drawing in black and white to use as a template and reference for where all the elements are placed in conjunction with each other. I did this by tracing the edges of the drawing on my jacket with a water-soluble pencil. I usually use this when I'm sewing, and what this does is that when you wash the jacket, the pencil will wash off. So the whole Fruity Friends series is actually inspired by one of my earliest pin designs, the dancing banana. I've actually wanted to give him some friends for a really long time and now it's finally happening. So Peachy and Pichu are twin sisters who go to the same school as Dancing Banana. They're basically best friends and they have the best time together. They love doing girly things like getting manicures, shopping, sharing stories, and doing self-love things like pampering themselves with face masks. As the story goes, one night while chilling in each other's room, Peachy tells her sister about this huge crush she's had on Dancing Banana. And since Valentine's was approaching, Peachy suggests that Peachy sends Banana a selfie to let him know that she's into him. However, Banana's kind of a silly one. He's super passionate about dancing and his ultimate goal is to get famous for it. Since he's so focused on his dance career, he's never given much thought to dating or falling in love. He's completely oblivious to anyone who might be crushing on him. So when Peachy sent him her selfie, he was actually recording a backspin. The notification totally catches him off guard and he accidentally kicks his tripod over. 
his phone goes flying off under the bleachers, and Banana wasn't able to get it back. Not knowing who had messaged him that day, he got so bummed out. While laying on his pancake bed, he shared his story with his bestie, Pucky Pear, about how he couldn't fit under the bleachers, and now his phone is lost forever. But of course, being the best friend that he is, Punky Pear is going to help a brother out. There's an obvious solution here. They just need to call for some backup from Cheerful Cherry. This is the story that I've shared on Instagram so far, but there's so much more to come. As the story unfolds, I want to introduce everyone to Punky Pear's band, and of course, so many other fruity characters. I had so much fun drawing this month's Patreon sticker sheet while listening to some really good J-Rock I found on my old iPod. One of the best things about moving is that you get to find all of these things that you've lost over the years. Listening to these old tunes and vibing out while I'm drawing Punky Pear, it just makes me feel like I'm listening to him perform on his guitar and I just really want his autograph. I feel kind of weird saying this because I created him, but I just feel like he's so hot. I want to hang out with him and squish his face and just give him a big hug. <laughs> so every month for my Patreon, I release one new pin, one new sticker sheet, and a digital wallpaper featuring that month's fruity friend. The pricing includes shipping, and with every pin order, there is a bonus sticker that you can collect. For new patrons that have missed a previous month's reward, they can gain access to my secret shop when they join so they can always go back in time to get whatever they missed in the past. This month's bonus sticker features Punky Pear smashing his guitar. I mean, just look at him, he's such a little badass. And everything he does is just so cute. But of course, today's jacket, we are focusing on the Peach Sisters. And so far, I am loving drawing on this jacket with my Posca markers. It seems like with most colors, you only need to do one coat, but with the white color in particular, I had to do a couple coats. I think in particular for the letters here, I really wanted them to pop, so I went over them about four to five times before finalizing it. And with the detailed areas, I'm just switching back and forth between the medium marker and the fine point marker. What I would like to note is that as I'm drawing on this jacket, the marker is picking up little bits of stringy fabric pieces, kind of like lint building up on my marker, but you can easily pick it off with your fingers. If you're doing this, just make sure those little tiny bits don't mess up your drawing. There's also a little bit of drying time so the paint will smudge onto your hands if you rest your hand on it. So make sure you watch out not to smear any unwanted paint onto your fabric. And lastly, make sure you put something under your fabric so that your paint doesn't bleed onto your table. This totally happened to me and it was so stressful. Luckily, I managed to get it off. <sighs> that really freaked me out. On the Posca website, they have instructions for painting on fabric, and what they suggest is that you let your painting completely dry, and then flip it over and give it a good iron on the other side to set everything in place. By the way, if your paint isn't completely dry before you add any additional colors on top, the paint will get on your marker, so you have to make sure you wipe it off before you draw anything else. And with that, we're done. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Thank you so much for painting this jacket with me today. I'm going to be releasing this jacket on Patreon once we reach our first milestone of 50 patrons. I had so much fun making this. Let me know if you guys would like me to make some more. I love chatting with all of you in the comments, so feel free to leave me a message in the comment section. I always try to respond to all of them. I really appreciate all the support that you guys are giving this channel. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to give this video a like so that more people will see it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to join our YouTube family. I make weekly art and lifestyle videos. Thank you so much again. I'll see you all next week.